Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? It's Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. We're here in Danbury, Connecticut. We're out here today with Tyrant Slayer Studios. Me and him are uh, doing some First Amendment audits in the city of Danbury. Some of you folks might remember the uh, video Long Island Audits had here at the uh, library. So we're just going to check and make sure these guys are uh, being cordial and uh, respecting rights. So I see a unit down here in the parking lot. I'm going to go there first. There's a shot of the front for you guys. Yes, it is. It's a nice summer day. It is a nice facility. They have uh, under, it's not underground obviously, but they've got some, some shelter there from, I guess, you know, snow, rain, uh, obviously sun, so helps keep the vehicle cooler. Um, you know, as, a, as, as somebody from Florida knows, you always want to find the shade when you park. And in all honesty, that, that's why they leave the cars running is because they want to be comfortable when they get inside, you know, when they get in and out of the vehicle all the time and, and the air's not running. Area, it's for better response time in emergencies. Oh, yeah, better response yeah. time, yeah. I like to see the stats on that. I, I don't think it's going to hold, hold up. <laughs> i got to say, I haven't seen it in such a big police department. It's a pretty big police department there. they got a guy in. Now, again, guys, we see a thirty, twenty, thirty thousand dollar fence, and then we see the shoddy gate here, which is unsecure in the extreme. I mean, so uh, if you're going to half-ass your security measures, um, you know, don't charge us for them. Those aren't even uh, structural bolts. Those look like regular. Two, steel. I'm sure somebody riding a Vespa could hit that and it would break. Yeah, you could probably kick it off. Yeah. These would snap, they're, they're going to be brittled if you put enough force on that. Yeah. Yeah, that is terrible. That's uh, something funny, funny to point out. Interesting observation. Yeah. So this must be, it says authorized vehicles only beyond this point. So that leads me to believe that everybody that's parked here is uh, some kind of employee or um, as some kind of business here maybe they're uh, they're visiting maybe it's a detective or something from another bureau or maybe the district attorney um, you know people that have uh, regular business here in the police department would be able to park here uh, and I guess there's probably it looks like maybe over on the other side um, we'd have maybe like citizen parking or something like that or maybe up in the front we haven't gone up to the front yet so we're we're unsure um, now this says entrance up here so maybe the top is parking for citizens because I yeah, don't I yeah yeah I mean why would you label it entrance for the employees they obviously know where they can enter to so that 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 uh, that might be the entry point there we might have to walk around the building to uh, to go over yeah, there and get in. Inside, yeah. yeah. So now it says authorized Find vehicles, out. but it doesn't say authorized personnel. And there is a difference there. There is. There is. I'm not a vehicle. Um. So that 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 um doesn't preclude me from from walking onto the property per se. So. Um, 
driver in the car waved. The other guy looked at me like I was an alien. So here comes another unit. Okay, it's pulling in. It's not coming back here. So um, let's try making our way inside. Yep. We'll uh, we'll try to find a way to get inside here and uh, see what we can see. See if they respect the rights and uh, see if uh, so maybe they'll just give us a copy of their policies and procedures. Yeah, well, I'd also like to find out what, if any, kind of disciplinary action happened to those officers. See, right. yeah, these guys are watching and looking at us, so I'm going to stop and stare back. I don't, I don't have no qualms about uh, letting them know that I'm definitely watching. You know, just like cops watch criminals. Uh, if they're doing something wrong, that's the only time they really need to be worried. <laughs> You know, if they're not doing anything wrong, if they're doing their job correctly and properly, I mean, I don't care if people watch me at my job. I'm a, a skilled at my job. I excel at my job. Hell, I want people to watch me at my job so they know how to how to do my job, so they can understand my job. I don't hide from my boss's cameras or anybody else's cameras. It's a suspect mindset when you gotta be um, afraid um, of people with cameras, uh, you know, being caught on video. It's really telling of uh, the symptom in our society today yeah. with the improvement of public photography. There was a time, like say in the 80s, when camcorders first came out, where if you saw a camera, you would smile, you'd wave, you, you were likely to do something goofy because, you know, cameras were new and everybody was beginning to buy them and use them. Now it's just public photography is often mistaken as a crime. Yep. Photography is not a crime. Guys, yeah, the wind's kicking up, so there might be a little bit of wind noise. I got my body cam running, so maybe we'll, uh, we'll switch over to body cam, maybe. Okay, and this is voice too. Um, I took it off voice activation when some lady said, "Are you recording?" and it shut off automatically. Uh, <laughs> or she said something like, "You need to stop recording," and it shut it down because it's not tuned into any particular voice. Right. I wonder if they can catch that. Some sort of voice. So there's. Yeah, that looks like the public entrance over there, maybe. I see no entrance on this side. We'll walk around, guys, and see if they have any windows open. We'll take a look-see and see what we can see. It's an honor to have you in the Constitution State of Connecticut. Mr. Absolutely. Brogan. We're here in the Constitution State, and we're learning today about the Constitution. Imagine that, folks. Yeah. <laughs> a little change of pace for the state here today. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very police. So, a little shoddy workmanship there. Probably a kickback to a cousin or something. Entrance here as well. Yeah. Entrance here, entrance in the back. No firearms, huh? That smell is concerning. Oh, that was cool. 1858, Florence B. Sullivan. I beg your pardon? Well, hers was, hers had a, a nail in it, and it was fine the day before our grade. This is all the thing that passed for two months to one year, and then it passed one month. Another time you might have a screw in the side of it. And um, my attorney would not think that. I wonder if they have a uh, accessible lavatory here for people in the lobby. Well, this is common that is fire injection, so and has already. Yes. Okay. Yes. P-A-D-I-L-L-A. 
J-E-R-E-S-1. That's crazy. Thank you. All right. We had a lady peeking out the window over in that door over there. Hello? Can I help you? Oh, yes. How are you, ma'am? Good. Um, there was an incident a couple of weeks ago at the Danbury Public Library and some officers and a journalist. Okay. I was wondering if I could request any um, to find out if there was any disciplinary action taken. Yeah, you have to get through internal affairs, not through the records department. And I would appreciate you not filming me, okay? You don't have my permission to film me, okay? Okay. Or put that on social media. That's duly noted. Okay. Thank you. Um, so how would I get in touch with internal affairs? Go to the main window here? Yes, just a reminder, I don't want to see my face on, on the internet. It's going to be, would you like? You don't have my permission. I, to put I, I don't need your permission. I, I really don't need your permission. Okay. All right. Go, um, you need to contact Internal Affairs. So okay. Thank you. <laughs> so there's the second time we've gotten Life in there. 
Did she just leave? I mean, I, I could stand here all day, really. I don't see anybody. Is there a button to push or something? Like, how do these people know I'm here? Can I help you? Yes, ma'am. I was just over at the records, and they told me I needed to speak with somebody in eternal affairs. Okay. So I, I would like to yeah. speak to somebody in eternal affairs if I could. You have an appointment? No, I, the lady just told me. Okay. Can I have your name? Uh, my name is George. Hey, George. Do you mind having a seat? No, I'll call up there. Absolutely. Thank you. I don't really see these folks are sitting in their seats. So I guess I could sit down over here, but I, I'm fine standing too. I don't mind standing. That'll be fine. So you to a good start. Yeah, it seemed good. For history in front of the wall here. This is our records department. I don't understand why they wouldn't just have I mean, aren't all of those records public ship the records of the internal affairs investigation? Yeah. They should be. But sometimes you got people that don't like to do their jobs and shuffle it off onto somebody else thinking that uh yeah, or something else will happen, you know, yada, yada. So usually for public records, I just make the um, the request online or something if it's information I really need because... Like through email correspondence. Right, because right, right, they'll, eat, they'll eat your day up, you know. I spent three hours at Fort Lauderdale just waiting for someone to take my request, just take the request. And finally, I told them, I said, look, all I need is someone that knows how to write. <laughs> so you can provide that, right? Pretty simple. Yeah. So. The bees seem to be buzzing now. Yes, the bees are buzzing. The hive is agitated. Mm -hmm. I could sense it from yep. my bones. <laughs> I feel it coming. Speaking of flies, there was just a fly right there. I haven't noticed. Is there a lot of bugs here in Connecticut? I mean, yeah, we got a lot of mosquitoes. Ticks are really bad this year. Okay. I mean, we're hanging on the deck and we're doing burgers and stuff. It would be indicative of you to check yourself before and after you get out of the shower just to be thorough. Just to be. how many ticks on you because Lyme disease is a big thing up here. Okay. But yeah, it's mosquitoes and then you got the gnats that follow you around. Horse flies. Yeah, there's a lot of Exercise. Exercise. Don't you know the bead is going to mesmerize? 
I hear the elevator moving. I'm hoping it's uh, internal affairs coming down. Yeah, that would be nice. Imagine that. Imagine it was that easy. Seems internal affairs is pretty busy. This must be a pretty corrupt department if they take some 20 minutes to. We could probably get a pizza here faster. Yeah. If we were in for delivery. Yeah. And if they're really nice, maybe we could share some pizza with them. I, try to find for some public information. Wright Crispy did that for me at a, at a police department in Kissimmee. Kissimmee Police did you Department. Order, yeah. Did you order some pizza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was like. The places where you could sit was like a school desk type deal, the, you know, the fold down ones. So, yeah, I folded that up, spicoli it up. <laughs> I, I even asked them, like, you guys want any pizza? They didn't want any pizza. I was like, all right, more for me. Uh -huh. I called it Fast Times at Kissimmee PD. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, do you know how long they said it would take? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, mic on. Did, did they say how long it would take? No, I don't get how long it will take. Um, it has been dispatched, so there will be somebody out shortly. That's all I can say. Okay, there's a, is it, it's not in the building, Internal Affairs? Yeah, but it's been dispatched. Okay. Will I queue in the calls? Okay. It's dispatched. So once I queue it in, I have... Okay, all right. Well, thank you, ma'am. Delivery for Tracy? Tracy? So you have a spot here for sure. syringes, needles. Okay. I'm going to go out here and check the signage.
Yes, sir. I have two other reports in here. She needs to see them. I think two other. No, I can pull them out. I need to. Okay, I can make more. But I pull them. Can you tell me what time uh, the, the records department closes, or do you have like a, a Monday through Friday schedule for me to reclaim? Um, Monday through Thursday, 7.30 a.m. each morning. Monday they close at 4.30. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and what time is it now, ma'am? I'm sorry? 12 20. 12 20. All right, thank you. All right, I should know that by Thank you, I mean, they could just be doing that for privacy, but this is very misleading, isn't it? Mm hmm. This is that custodian who took intention with being a Well, what I would suggest to them would be to put tent on the window so no one can see in. I mean, you're already communicating through the button. Right. This is a, that's an issue because it says in big bold letters that they're closed. Right. When they're in fact not closed. Right. Uh, okay. Howard Sturdivant is going to be able to talk to you in a few minutes, okay? Excellent. Is thank, our, thank you so much. Either him, either him or Sergeant Fabish, okay? Thank Excellent. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. I see she has some lollipops on her desk there. I should ask if that's for the public or if that's her own personal stash, you know, brought from home or whatever. Yes. Unfortunately, I, I can't wait all day. I got a job to do. So if you could, I'm going to leave my card here with you. It's got my email address. Just let him know that I will be emailing him uh, to request some information from him, all right? Okay, because the uh, lieutenant from IA is on his way in. He's been on his way in. I don't. I can't wait all day. He's relaying the message, that's all. Yeah, I know. Okay. I will pass this on to him. Thank you. I mean, he's on his way in. I could drive all the way halfway across the state by now. Right. Right. Uh, from where? 